Hey everyone. Good morning. Three years ago, I was honored by Brother David, who asked if I would be a part of his mother's 87th birthday by reading and telling everyone on a June 4th Wednesday night a little about the lady whom we all know and love as Memo Radford. It's been a past three years, and now on a Sunday morning, June 4th, 2017, I am happy and honored to revisit the story, albeit edited just a little bit, three pages down from six. You're probably, uh, those of you who are old enough are probably familiar with a program called This Is Your Life. Uh, Mamma Rapper, This Is Your Life. Back on June 4th, 1927, things were somewhat different than what we experience today. For your information, the cost of a house for those who were more fortunate was about $7,900. A new car that year would set you back $360. Now, that's not a wow. monthly payment, that's for the whole car. <laughs> Those able to afford the car needed gasoline, which was a whopping 15 cents per gallon. A gallon of milk was 45 cents. The average annual wage was about, oh, $1,100 for those with jobs a little better than picking cotton out of the fields back then. Well, it was on this date, June 4th, during that year, in Bassett, Arkansas, that a sixth child was born to Charlie and Velma Preston. Legally, her name was Mary Catherine Preston, but along the way, she also became known as Rosalind and or Polly. Well, by 1937, now this time, this time, we will skip a lot here, 10 years, a decade. By 1937, Catherine's life had changed tremendously. In those 10 years, her parents had divorced. Charlie, her dad, took the three oldest children, while Mama Velma kept the three youngest. Catherine and her sisters, Margaret and Elizabeth, were placed in foster care in 1931, but they were able to return to their mother in June of 1933. Uh, in the ensuing three years, three other girls were born, and in the ensuing years, their mother braided each child's hair before school. The girls would take a bath in a wash tub and water heated by the sun. Their water was drawn from a well, which of course was typical of that time, and the powder room was an outdoor toilet. A wash pot over an open fire became the washing machine, the agitator was a broomstick, and a scrub board was used for that really dirty laundry. There was no tide or cheer, so the lye soap was rinsed out and the clothes were hung on the fence to dry. By the way, in 1937, housing costs actually dropped to around $7,100, but that new car would set you back about $760. Gas was 20 cents a gallon and milk had jumped to 50 cents a gallon. Okay, resuming right ahead, it's now 1947. Catherine is now a young lady, just 20 years old, and for those keeping score, the cost of that new house, $13,000, the new car, $1,500, and the cost of milk was rising faster than the cost of gasoline, and some people were making as much as $2,200 a year. And during the time from 1937 to 47, Catherine experienced events that changed her life. So one day during this period, she's on a bus, and is seated by a serviceman named Robert Floyd Radford. It seems that Mr. Radford's personality was that of having never met a stranger, so she took interest in him and listened to his stories as they traveled. And later they continued corresponding by writing and sending letters back and forth. Well, on July 24, 1944, Catherine married Robert Floyd Radford. And they were blessed with 64 years together before Robert was called home to be with Jesus on September 21st of 2008 just nine years ago this coming fall. To the Radfords were born two children, Doris in August of 1945, and David on December 4th of 1946. David was born in a two-room shack on a farm which was purchased with money Robert had sent home while he was in the service. The Radford family moved from the farm in rural Missouri to St. Louis, Missouri for a few short months. Things didn't quite work out there, so they moved back to the farm. And during this time, Catherine was a homemaker, a cook, a farmer's wife, a doctor, and most importantly, a praying Christian mother. After a period of years, the Radfords relocated to Bossier City, Louisiana in 1960, when Robert secured a job driving a truck. Fast forward to 1967, the new house is now almost $23,000. The new car, crazy, $2,700. Folks with good jobs were bringing in about $5,200 a year. Gas was up, milk was down. Doris and David were both married with one child each by this time, and both would go on to bless Catherine with two more grandchildren and three great-grandchildren, and since that time that we did this three years ago, um, she's now a great-great-grandmother, is that correct? Yes, thanks for baby Cayman. So now we're back in the 60s where her role as a parent had changed to that of a grandparent, which seems to please her. 
And although a homemaker most of her life, she did have to work outside of the home temporarily to try to help make the ends meet. Catherine's ministry for God has included the preparation of meals on many mission and youth trips, providing encouragement for those who needed it, and being a forever prayer warrior. She has always loved gospel music and always enjoyed singing with church choirs. And those who know Catherine really know what a wonderful person she is. Truly unselfish, always doing for others before she would do for herself. She has been an integral part in the development of what is now North DeSoto Church of God. Three years after beginning prayers with David about planting a new church in Stonewall, Louisiana, back in 2003, that prayer was answered in 2006. She became and is still one of the leading prayer warriors within our church. So let's revisit our time capsule one last time as we wrap this up. It's 2007, a year after the church came into existence, but before moving to its present location where we are now, the average cost of a new home is about $213,000, vehicles on average about $28,000. But with the choices out there compared to what you had to pick from in 1927, it could be from about $20,000 to over a million dollars. The medium income in 2007 was about $40,000 a year. Gas, thank goodness, is a little more affordable than it was three years ago. The price of a milk, uh, price of milk at five dollars a gallon, has also come down. Well, grateful for that. And on a personal note, shortly after the end and I got together five years ago, I made North DeSoto Church of God my church home. Mamaw Radford, among others, immediately made me feel at home and one of the church family members. And for that, I personally am eternally grateful. Mama Raptor made our wedding cake as requested with a fleur-de-lis saints theme and my groom's cake with a football theme. We were married here December 1st, 2012. And when the guys first began our mission and worship, she gave me my first notebook and plastic protective sheets for the music. So I try each week to seek her out and give her a hug and kiss before rushing up to the stage. And when you know this morning with the weather and running in here, I forgot to do that. So that's first on the agenda before we leave here today. I do want you to know, Memoir Rapper, that you mean so much to me and to everyone here today. It's an honor for me to wish you a heartfelt, happy 90th birthday. And may God continue to richly bless our lives with your presence for years to come. Amen. I love you. We all love you.